Howdy, and welcome to Tullamea by Tooth and Claw. Download the link in the description if you'd like to play. The game is available for a name your own price. Uh, the developer has a lot of very interesting looking games on their page. Uh, they seem to do a lot, their, their itch.io page, I should say. Uh, and they seem to do a lot of game jam games. Uh, for example, this is a GB Jam 12 entry. Uh, and I actually had a hard time picking which game I was going to play from this developer because uh, I initially had planned to play, I believe, Carcass. Uh, a game that they made back in April, but then they did another jam right before I was about to start recording, and then they did another jam, which is this game, and I figured we'd, you know, we'd check out their their newest thing, and also this one seemed interesting. Uh, it plays with uh, Game Boy visuals in a way that I thought looked neat. Uh, it made me look up what I saw the title, and I was like, I don't know what that means, so I looked it up. I believe the pronunciation is Ptolemaea. Uh, maybe, I hope, uh, and, then, and then I was like, well, I don't know what that word means. Uh, and apparently it's part of the Ninth Circle of Hell and Dante's Inferno dedicated to people who betray their guests, which Dante's Inferno <laughs> going hard again. Um, also, I guess there's a song by a musician named uh, Ethel Kane, I, I believe. Um, I've never heard of them. Uh, I listened to the song with the same name as this, uh, and it seems spooky as shit. Seemed like it's a, like a good time. Uh, I, you know, I'm going to have to check out more of it because I have never heard of that musician. It's not really related to this, but I just didn't know what Ptolemaea was. So uh, let's, uh, let's uh, jump in. Okay, yeah, we have uh, the WSD, the, the, the keys, the Vs to interact. Know this, child. Suffer does the wolf bathing in the blood of the lambs. That is, you know, it, 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 you're going to get dirty. That is suffering. So, uh, you know, we have the Game Boy visual here. We got the resolution. Uh, you, obviously, if you made your Game Boy do this, it would immediately catch on fire. Um, seeing this made me think a bit of uh, the Alone of the Dark uh, Game Boy game. Uh, which obviously doesn't look this good, uh, but is very technically impressive the way they ported a uh, Dreamcast, you know, ported, quote unquote, a Dreamcast game down to uh, the Game Boy Color. Uh, and this made me think of, made me think of that, um, even though, uh, you know, I have thoughts about <laughs> the Alone in the Dark series um, that, you know, uh, hopefully don't reflect in here uh, but i was just like damn this looks really cool uh like as part of like the jam rules uh you just had to get like the spirit of the game boy you didn't have to like make it in a uh game boy um game boy studio or anything like that uh so i'm like interacting with the stuff trying to see what's up you know if we need to interact with a a portrait or something so you know the fact that this would obviously not run on a game boy might dock them a few points for the spirit of the game boy uh in the jam was there th no that's just the thing i saw i wasn't sure if that changed i might you know just because this you, your game boy would just it would immediately catch on fire if you even considered putting this on there but it runs in the uh, resolution uh you know um the what is the game boy like 10 by 9 um i should know this because i just did the math to make sure that i was recording in the right thing um but you know you know like it, it's got the color scheme uh you know there's four colors uh it's got the resolution uh and i feel like this is something that someone would probably attempt a like okay if you thought about this just the design of like walking around in first person on the game boy this would probably be abstracted down into um you know, like a screen base, like, okay, I'm going to move forward, move forward, move forward. Uh, I forget what that game is called. Like, that's not Ultima, I don't think. I don't know. Like, a, a dungeon crawler in that vein, though. Um, okay, it'll say interact on screen. I don't have to, like, go and look at every single thing. Um, also, I should mention that I believe that this game uh, on the page said that it was a liminal horror game, which uh, seems like uh, means that we are going to be uh, PT'd slightly uh, by the looks of it. Let's read this diary. I hit the wrong key. I am the way into the city of woe. I am the way into eternal pain. I am the way to go among the lost. Press interact. Ah, uh, press interact. Always my favorite part of the scripture. You know, when the uh, the priest reads out, you know, screams out at you. You know, please press interact. And, you know, you have to slap your Bible to make sure it's working. Uh, September 27th, 1991. We're alerted of reported a strange smell coming. All these pull discover. Press interact. I will definitely press interact. And uh, let's I get going. So I probably don't need to, you know, inspect every single thing the way I was. This plant is looking pretty dead. 
but you know we might want to keep our eyes out especially if this is going to be uh, i can't like look at that cross if this is going to be similar to apt that we might want to pay attention to things that are changing and our our space our oh hey it's a little little ghosty you know you know things are changing in our space uh be aware of of the liminal nature of it like we can interact is like this just like a crack in the walls a mold what is it a door has opened okay well i would assume that means the door at the end of the hallway and not like one of these oh hey yeah there's a thing in here what are you is it like a I think it's a suit of armor. It's holding like a big key. Or perhaps a man. Oh, it's like a mannequin like being hung holding a key. Okay, well, so we, we got the basis of what we need to do. We got like a clean run of the uh, liminal space before spooky things started happening. And now we know we need to look for uh, things that have changed in the space. So we'll be able to proceed on. Because I assume now we're going to need this key to be able to open the door. Whereas, you know, before we were just able to, you know, slap that sucker open and continue on. So what will be different now? I assume the diary will have a, a new entry for us. Through me, you go into a city of weeping. Through me, you go into eternal pain. Through me, you go amongst the lost people. Press interact. I surely will. Is there anything different in here? Doesn't seem to be. We don't have the newspaper about the, the Olis discovered. However, it decided to cut that off. Um, oh, no, we have a newspaper. Don't worry. September 27th, 1991. Ud the mother. E father was verdant blood. Ack of remor. Hmm. I hate when I have ack of remor. So this is... Sta oh, I can walk through this. How far in here can I go? Okay, I can't go in very far. Um, okay, so the thing is going to change, but it's not going to undo what has happened. Do we get a ghosty? Oh, it might undo what's uh, happened because we don't see that big moldy crack anymore. Don't know. It's probably a better way to describe what we saw, but you know, it was a big shattering of the wall and there's like spores or something coming out of it. A door has opened. Well, is the door ahead of us? That would be convenient, but no, we, we do need to backtrack through. So are we going to be specifically looking for these moldy cracks every single time? Uh, and we're just going to be finding more uh, hung mannequins uh, with keys. The ghost didn't make a visit. Well, I was going to say the ghost didn't make a visit this time. But perhaps, you know, we haven't made it to the end of the hallway yet. We still have a chance for, you know, old... I was, I was, I was going to say Lisa, but that's that's probably... It's probably rude to make the compare... Oh, hey, like the way the, the uh, dithering on the thing is kind of interesting. Like kind of introducing some static. Uh, it's probably rude to make the PT comparisons. But you, you know... I, it, I think it's fair. I, I think it's a, a fair comparison. And B, it's not like Konami's doing fucking anything with it. So, it, you know, everyone, everyone feel free to just PT. Why not? Uh, do not be afraid. Our fate cannot be taken from us. It is a gift. Press interact. Nothing seems to be different in this room. Uh, I can't really make out the flooring. Um, like the way it looks like just, you know, maybe this is just too much. Too much anime but it, it, this flooring in here i was just like oh yeah tatami uh, you know matt sure that's probably not tatami matt it's probably not what's not probably not what's happening there um i the the not got uh uh in, inserted in the wrong place in that sentence september 27th 1991 and an axe we not my fault effed alive and tortured press interact and we already found our or a little or a little moldy crack friend a door has opened uh there wasn't a door back there just yet so that means we're just gonna go on forward and we don't have to backtrack now what a treat you know having to walk up and down these hallways finding your rooms filled with nothing but <laughs> hung mannequins holding your big key the big key that you have for your big door oh they got me they i mean well it didn't it got me in that hoo hoo i got spooked but it didn't get me in that we got grabbed by the ghoulie. The ghoulie just passed through. There was very little uh, grabbing that just occurred. Here, pity only lives when it is dead, even when the iron still fears the rot. Press interact. Amen. Still nothing in this room. Uh, well, I should, you know, still nothing's probably not fair because we did at one point find uh, the newspaper in there. And we do, we are getting our diary uh, readings. Uh, so. Oh, I actually didn't see it. I was walking towards it and didn't notice it was standing there because I was f 
focused in on the uh have we done this one already no um well yes we have done it no and that is not the one i wanted i was focused on the uh you know the objective that i managed to overlook the fact that you know there is a, there is a scary spooky ghost waiting there for us uh you know ready to you know run away you know show us like hoo hoo i could do what i want is this oh this is new hmm. for some reason i thought we had opened this one uh but you know maybe that's just the liminal nature is getting to me uh and also my bad visual memory probably not assisting uh in that uh department either <clears throat> You were bound to the sins of your father long before your conception. Press and interact. You see, you know, they tell you about the sins of your father, and then they tell you to press and interact. It's like, well, I don't have an option. I have to press and interact, or else I can't get out of this text box. So, I mean, I'm not saying I agree with you, but I will press and interact. Um, and unfortunately, it seems like our... Oh, hey, friend. You, you showed up with a... I mean, it was, it was like a Game Boy, uh, a thing has appeared sound, less of lightning, because um, I, I, I think the, the Foley I did, I would probably describe more as uh, like a, you know, like a lightning bolt. But, you know, the Game Boy audio system, uh, you know, things are going to end up sounding like uh, thunder and lightning and a lot of, you know, you got to use your imagination, uh, and we can assume that that sound effect was... Scary ghost appearance and disappearance teleport like Dragon Ball like kind of noise you know and not like well I mean it could be it could be lightning like the lightning strikes in the scary moment uh, to em emphasize you know the fact that it was scary. I am no good nor evil. I am the face of love's rage. I'm glad that this this quote is here because this quote is on the itch.io page. And I was like, oh, shit. I meant to uh, read that off at the beginning. And then I realized that I didn't have the itch.io page open. Hey, don't run it. I just I just left the room, buddy. Give me some time. Um, I, I realized I didn't have the itch.io page open because I had to write down um, what uh, Ptolemaea meant. Because I was like, I'm just going to write it down just so I don't have a moment of panic where I'm like, uh, it's ninth circle of hell. It's one of the rings. I mean, I didn't mention the, the rings thing because, you know, I didn't know what it was. So like just Googling what it was and then reading like, oh, it's one of the four concentric circles of the ninth circle of hell. Like I didn't have that information, you know, prior to playing this. Um, never, never had to read Dante's Inferno, which. Hmm. Maybe you're not allowed to read that in school. I don't know. Not not exactly sure. Uh, but you know, oh, the the diary's gone. We our our diary has been stolen. Uh, so I we can assume that something bad's about to happen. Especially since we just got the quote that um, spoilers is on the itch.io page. And I think we're out of doors. I think we have opened every single door. So let's see what happens in our liminal journey as it, it comes to an end. The nature of liminal spaces. You pass through it. And then you're done, and you move on, and nothing bad happens to you. You know? So we're just going to continue on. And see, there's not even a door here. It's home free. Interact. I press the C button. C key, not button. I mean, I guess a key on a keyboard is a button. Um, we don't seem to be able to go back, but why would we? We escaped our liminal space, that liminal hallway, and now we have liminal forest uh, with some trees that are dying. I mean, we don't know the nature of this place just yet. Oh, well, I mean, it comes to an end. So does that count as liminal? Let's see what's in the diary. Run then, child. You can't hide from me forever. Press interact to <laughs> confirm that you can't hide from me forever. Uh, and what do we do now? Is this it's still the same diary? Uh, and there's nowhere to go. So I guess we just turn back and uh, hope our friend doesn't show up. Which, you know, I mean, they, they told us. We couldn't run from them forever, and we uh, straight up couldn't. Uh, thank you, Dan McGrath, uh, which, uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, uh, tooth and claw at dot itch dot io. I was gonna put an at in there, but there's not an at in there. Um, so yeah, this is this is really fun. I believe. Um, like here, let me just. I, I don't want to fuck this up. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> 
Okay, yes, I just wanted to check. Uh, so they managed to like get this out in five days, which is very impressive. Like, you know, it's a pretty simple game, a pretty simple uh, con uh, concept, but I think it looks really good uh, for, you know, the way it's utilizing the Game Boy aesthetic. And obviously, like, like I mentioned, uh, a way that would kill the Game Boy. I just noticed that this is recording in a uh, format that I would wish it didn't. I, whoops, that's my fault, but th that's fine. I'll figure that out. Um, yeah, so I really enjoyed this. Like, obviously it's a short experience. The creator, you know, knocked it out in like a work week. Um, but they have just a ton, like, uh, if I'm, I'm like not joking, like check out their itch.io page. They have a ton of games. Uh, and I, I'd seen them mentioned on Twitter, uh, cause I follow a bunch of like horror game accounts, believe it or not. Um, people like talking up this creator, like, oh yeah, damn, they, you know, they, they make, uh, certified bangers. Uh, so I really enjoyed this. Uh, obviously this was pretty simple in what it was going for. Um, the, uh, the, it's not too scary i mean i did go i did get got like i said um but you know obviously all the scares are our friend comes for us um but also uh, hmm, now that i think about it the, the the name if it does involve um uh guests that you've wronged like we we saw the newspaper about um what seems like a father killed in their entire family um you know, from the the little bit that we were able to glean from it, I, I'm pretty sure that it's father killed family, uh, didn't have remorse about it, uh, something about being tortured, uh, saying it wasn't their fault. So I'm not exactly sure how that would tie in, because I wouldn't say that your family are particularly your guests. You live with them, you know, they're your family. Um, but, you know, like I said, I've never read Dante's Inferno. Um, I'm clearly not the most well-read person. Uh, but I, I really enjoyed this little experience. Uh, and I'm glad that I picked this one, because uh, like I said, I had difficulty picking a game just because they keep pumping stuff out. Um, and I'm glad that I picked one of these newer ones uh, because I'm looking at some of the older ones. It's like, these seem really cool. And, you know, I don't entirely want to blow up the creator's spot by being like, here's your thing. It's gone now. Um, so, you know, you can go go check out uh, their stuff on their itch.io page. I believe it's all like uh, I haven't like obviously clicked on every game, but I believe it's all dan like uh, name your own price download now. Um, the only thing I saw on their page that had an explicit price tag uh, was a soundtrack for one of their, I believe, older games. It's farther down on the list. I assume that it's newest at the top uh, and doesn't change the sorting at some point. Oh, yeah. This was Ptolemaea, uh by Tooth and Claw.